So over the past couple of years, phone manufacturers have gotten more on board with bringing users digital well-being features. You've got Google's own digital well-being, Apple's screen time, OnePlus's Zen mode, plus there's a bunch more as well, but they're all tools that allow us as phone users to get on top of how much we're using our phones. But one of the best third-party options available is Action Dash. And I've actually featured this app on my channel in a past Top Android Apps video. So I was super on board when the team at Action Dash reached out and asked if they could sponsor a showcase of their app on my channel. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna walk through this application, take a look at the various features and discuss how you can make the most of this incredibly useful app. So without further ado, let's get started. So when you first launch the app, you'll be asked to input your birth year and to agree with the terms of service and the privacy policy. And then you'll need to grant usage access as well by entering the settings and setting this permit usage access toggle to on. This will essentially mean that the app can take a look at all of the usage data that's already stored on your phone, meaning it'll be ready to use straight away. From there, we can head back and now we'll be taken straight into the main menu. So let's take a look at the six different pages we have at the top here. On the far left is our global comparison page. And this provides you with an app by app breakdown of how your usage compares to other users of Action Dash. So if we look at the Instagram app, for example, you can see that my daily average is 20 minutes, whereas globally other users use Instagram an average of 51 minutes per day. Ironically, my usage of Action Dash has blown well over the global average. So perhaps I need to dial back how often I'm using this app. But then we have our summary page. This is a really useful page with lots of great bars and graphs that, as the name suggests, summarizes all of the important information in an easy to understand way. You can switch between a weekly view or a daily view, but at the top is a graph that shows total screen time so far, the breakdown of which apps have been used the most during that time. And just below that, we have how many times we've unlocked the phone and how many notifications we've had in that time period as well. You can also see a really insightful circle chart below that. And this shows the peak periods that you tend to use your phone. And then there's an additional graph below that, which shows what times throughout the day you're more likely to unlock your phone. There's also an app session length breakdown chart below that, which essentially shows you how long you tend to use apps for in one continuous sitting. Super insightful stuff. And right down the bottom of this page are suggestions for how to disconnect and use your phone less based on your usage, but we'll talk more about these in a moment. From there, we have our screen time page, which is just a breakdown of how long you've spent in all of the apps installed on your phone. And then the next page is our app launches page, which shows us how many times we've actually launched into any given app. Second to last is our notifications page, which shows how many notifications have come in on an app by app basis. And then finally, we have our device unlocks page that breaks down how many times you've unlocked your phone over either the past hour, day or week. So straight out of the gate, there is so much more data available here in comparison to the stock digital wellbeing app. It really does provide you with granular information on your phone's usage and the charts and graphs make it much easier to understand how we're using our phones. So then once we've assessed the damage and we're ready to take control over how much we're using our phones, what can we do? Well, the app has a bunch of built-in solutions, focus mode, paused apps, and app usage limits. Starting with focus mode, this is a feature that allows you to add particularly time draining apps to a list. And then when you turn this focus mode on, Action Dash will prevent the apps from being opened. So let's say I set Instagram up to be one of the apps on this list. Well, with focus mode turned on, if I try and launch Instagram, Action Dash will block it. Simple as that. You can also schedule focus mode to turn on automatically throughout the day. And you can even add a toggle to your quick settings, which means it's really easy to turn this feature on at a pinch. Paused apps mode is a slightly more aggressive version of focus mode where any apps you add to this list will just get blocked for the rest of the day. And finally, app usage limits mode is where you dial in on an app by app basis, how long you wanna be able to use each app installed on your phone for. So you can preset time durations in five minute intervals. And once you've reached that limit for a particular app, well, then you'll be blocked from using it for the rest of the day. This is a great feature to use if you perhaps know that you might not quite have the self-control to manually activate focus mode or paused apps mode, because if you set this mode up right at the start after you install the app, 
then it will just kick in for you without you having to manually turn it on or off. Now, when you try to access these blocked apps, you can also choose between two different options for what screen will show up, either your usage stats of that particular app or an animated meme that will hopefully provide a bit of humor whilst blocking the app at the same time. Now, aside from all of that, the app just has a really nice design. It's incredibly easy to use. And as we've seen, the amount of information it provides you with is super detailed. There are also some additional settings worth playing around with as well, but it really is the superior version of any form of digital well-being that I've ever used. It offers so many features and options for controlling the way that we use our phones. And the best part of all is that it's free. So if you wanna check it out, and I highly recommend that you do, then I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Aside from that, thank you all very much for watching. Thank you Action Dash for supporting the channel, and I'll catch you later.